Hey everyone, welcome back to Budget with Alicia. If you are new here, hi, I'm Alicia. I'm 26, I live in Canada, and I make budget content. Now I do make things over on my Instagram as well as on TikTok, so make sure to go follow me there as well so you don't miss any content. Um, my username on both platforms are both just Budget with Alicia, the same as here, um, but I will link them down below as well so that you can look at the correct spelling and everything. Um, but they are available there. So what we're going to be doing today is our um, budget with me for the second pay period of September. So my income for this pay period was $1,051.63. So that is our total income that we are going to be budgeting this pay period. So for rent, we are going to be putting $120. I do split this up in two different pay periods. And I do live at home, which is why I pay um, less rent than you would if you had your own place. I do live with my grandparents to help save some money because it's just not feasible for me to live on my own at this time. But I do pay them rent as well as contribute to the household um with food and stuff, which we will get to when we get to our cash envelopes. For credit card, we are going to be putting $75. I did buy a couple of things, including um, something for my dad for his birthday next week. Me and my brothers went in on something and I paid for it with my credit card and they're just reimbursing me. But for my portion, I also had to take that out of there. The other part of credit card is um just my subscriptions and stuff so that is why it's a little bit higher than it is sometimes um i was gonna just take it out of my gifts envelope and then use that to pay my credit card but then i thought what's the point really i might as well just include it in this pay period instead because it's basically the same thing so i did that instead for therapy it is 114 50 it's actually 113 but i do have an e-transfer charge of a dollar 50 i do get reimbursed the dollar 50 at the end of the month so i do usually get an e-transfer rebate of like three dollars for my therapy because i go twice a month um and then if i do any other e-transfers i get reimbursed for that as well but i just include it because it technically is out of my account and then it comes back so yeah for my investments it's 25 dollars and then my other investment is a small investment of $25 a month. Now this investment here is bi-weekly, so I do $125 bi-weekly. And then the total for my bills is $459.50. Um, I do include my investments as quote-unquote bills. I do know that they are technically a savings, but because they come out automatically from my account, I use them as a bill tracker just because I know then it's coming out of my account on that day. Now let's move on to cash envelopes. So for groceries, we are going to do $40 this time. This is for me paying for my breakfast, my lunch, lunches, and then any snacks I want to have. Um, I usually eat my dinners at home um, unless I go out or something, but typically I eat at home um, and I pay for all my own breakfast, lunches, and snacks, and then I usually eat dinner with my grandparents. For eating out, um, I'm going to put 40 in there as well. For gas, we are going to be doing 60 like normal. That usually is the perfect amount that lasts me two weeks of going back and forth to work. For spending, we're going to just do $10.00. For household, I'm going to do 20. That's for me to contribute meat um, and other items like Thai pods or whatever um, for the house um, to contribute for dinners as well as other house stuff. And then for Delilah, it's $10. That is my cat. So that's to pay for, to contribute for food, litter, treats, that kind of stuff. Um, my grandparents also have a cat, so they share it. So we go back and forth paying for that stuff. The total for cash envelopes is $180 this pay period. Then let's move up to sinking funds. We're not doing too many right now. I've been trying really hard to get my dental fund. You'll see that down here. My dental fund done. That's my biggest goal. I'm trying to get it done before the end of 2021. So I have limited as much um, other savings as I can that don't affect me, that don't need to be stuffed 
and or um, like just kind of limited the ones that had enough money in them for now, that kind of stuff. There are still a couple on here that I could probably cut if I needed to, but I choose not to, <laughs> I guess. Um, I do want to be more frugal next year for sure, but I want to get some of these beefed up as well. So for gifts, because I've spent quite a bit on gifts in the last couple of weeks, months, um, I'm going to be putting $10 in there, so not too much, but I was um, not funding gifts for a little while, but I'm back to doing it because I did um, send my best friend flowers. I talked about this in my last video, and then I also did take a little bit out of it for my dad's birthday, and then I also had another birthday, I believe, recently as well. So I had a couple things I had to pay for. Then for Christmas, this is my sinking fund that I am working the hardest on. I want to get Christmas done and out of my life forever um, so that I have the money to pay for Christmas gifts and not have to fund it anymore. For Christmas giving, we're going to do 10. That will be the next big thing. I want to get to 300 and I think I'm only at 200. And then for Christmas, I'm trying to get to 500 and I think I'm at like 395. So this will bring me up a little bit. For Taylor Swift, I'm going to do 10. This is for me to buy merch um, and CDs and all that kind of stuff, which is something I probably could cut, but it makes me happy, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> um, she has been releasing signed CDs and merch and stuff, and I find, like, in order for me to have, go to a concert and meet her in order for her to sign something would cost me way more than to pay the normal amount for a CD that's already signed. So I've been doing that since she's been offering that um, through the pandemic. So I don't want to miss out on that. Um, so that's why I have a fund for her, for the merch and for signed CDs and all that kind of stuff. It'll probably move to a fund for a concert at some point, but not right now. And then for beauty, we're going to be doing 20. I am getting my hair done at the end of October. So I am saving to make sure I have enough money for that. And then for car maintenance, we're only going to do 30 this time. Normally I do 50 every single pay period, but I'm trying to cut back a little bit for the time being until I get Christmas and, and my dental finished. Then for my challenge envelope, this is my envelope for this pay period. This, yes, it is pay too. <laughs> And in here, we need to fund $35. So 15 for one week and 20 for the next. Um, so we will put 35 in here for that. Which brings us to a total of 145. Now, leftover is, we're gonna put 200 into dental which brings us to, I think we only have like $600 left for the rest of the year. So I'm hoping I can make that happen between October, November, and December. I should be able to, and if I can't, then I do have um, more money coming to me in December. Like I get a vacation payout for any days I didn't take um, throughout the year. I usually get a Christmas um, bonus of some kind. I also have all of these envelopes that we will be opening and putting somewhere as well. Um, and there's also three pay periods in December. So there's lots of money um, coming through in December. If I absolutely had to, I could finish off dental at that time. But I would rather just be done before that because that would mean that I met my goal of finishing it without using those things. But if I needed to, I could use those at that time. And then my cushion is 6713 and that is um, just cushion for my checking account just in case something comes up, which brings us to a zero based budget, which is super exciting. So that is all of that. Now what I, we are also gonna do, while well, I already have you guys here, <clears throat> is fill out our cash breakdown. So we have a couple of different things here. So for the cash breakdown card, if you're interested in them, they are on my Etsy shop. This is what they look like. There's also a couple other patterns. You can buy all three patterns in a pack or just get one individual one. It's laminated. I use um, Sharpie on mine and I just take um, nail polish remover and it wipes right off of it. So this is, I think it's called Folklore or something. I don't even know. I think it's called Folklore because I'm a Swifty. Um, or something like that. Folklore Grey. 
something like that anyways so there's a couple things here so on my etsy i did um get the what do they call that the reserve off my account so they released a whole bunch of money to me from my etsy shop for my um bookmarks that I make so I will link my bookmark Etsy as well as my budgeting Etsy down below if you guys want to check it out um but I did get released $380 so I will be taking that out as well um in cash in order to put that into my Etsy envelope I didn't include it in my income because I didn't know the amount and it just literally happened today so I had already budgeted all of this out and I'm not taking any of this money any of that money to put towards any of this stuff anyway um, I'm saving all the money that I make on Etsy into my envelope and then at the end of the I guess at the end of tax season next year in like March April um, if I don't have to pay any tax or whatever's left over that kind of thing I will then put it into wherever at that time so I have to put, take out 380 so I'm gonna do this pen is so bad one two three it doesn't normally look like that but that's okay um, so 350, 70, and 80. And then we have 120 in rent. So we will do two 50s and a 20. Then we have $40 for eating out, or sorry, for groceries. So that is 20, 40. We have 40 for eating out. So 20, 40. We have 60 for gasoline. So 50. 60, 10 for spending, 20 for household, and then 10 for Delilah. And then for sinking funds, we have 10 for gifts. We have 30, so 20 and 30 for Christmas. We have 10 for Christmas giving, 10 for Taylor Swift. 20 for beauty and 30 for car maintenance so we will do 30 and then we have 35 so 20 30 and 5 so the total should be 825 dollars that i'll be taking out from the bank tomorrow to stuff so we'll be stuffing lots of money 825 dollars worth um when i do my cash stuffing which will be up on monday but thank you guys to everyone who has been watching and supporting i've been getting lots of extra followers lots of likes lots of comments the last little while so i do want to say thank you so much um it means so so much to me that people have been enjoying my content so thank you guys so much and let me know if you guys have any questions or if there's any content that you guys would like to see i am working on getting the um budget for people who have debt um, video is going to be underway. I think I'm going to do some different challenges that you can do um, to save money, kind of like this challenge that I had going on, but also some other ones to give you guys some ideas for the new year and stuff. Um, so I'm going to be doing that as well as a bunch of other stuff. There's lots of stuff to come in like around Christmas and in December and January. There's lots of stuff then that will be coming. So be stay tuned for that. So make sure to subscribe down below. Thanks guys.